The alien has been an icon of modern pop culture since the first film he stars in was released in 1979. Yet it has taken up until 2014 for a game to be released which pays appropriate tribute to such an iconic character. In Alien Isolation, the creature is treated as an actual threat, hunting the player down the same way he hunted the crew of the Nostromo. He lurks in vents, he listens to your pulse, and takes any given opportunity to coldly kill you on sight. The Last of Us provides the world of gaming two of the best characters ever written into a game. The touching story of Joel and Ellie doesn't quite manage to overshadow the gruesome enemies they encounter, the Clickers. The Clickers are an advanced enemy, the results of years of infection. The imagery is quite dreadful and not for the lighthearted. With hypersensitive hearing, they're difficult to get away from, almost as difficult as they are to look at. If they catch you, your death will be quite a messy ordeal. The Gatherers are creatures which inhabit a castle. They are deformed humanoids with claws. They lurk through the corridors of the castle trying to hunt you down, pushing you to hide in the dark where you hallucinate and make noise, further giving them clues as to where to find you. You're trying to work your way through the halls of the castle, but these wretched mutations are always one step behind you. Just looking at them eats up your sanity and leads to a sickly death. All you can do is run. Thin, silent, creepy, Passive. The Slender Man never chases you, never makes sudden movements or noise. He doesn't need to cause a ruckus or use cheap tricks to scare you. His entire existence is a nightmare, and it's enough for him to simply appear in your field of view to frighten you out of your wits. The Slender Man knows this, which gives him ghoulish confidence. With only a flashlight, you have to make your best effort to survive the stalking of this thin, pale, ghastly creature. Named after his large, red-pointed head, this large, muscular man has no dialogue, no clear background, and only one mission, to hunt you down. He doesn't need a reason or a justification. He's a murderer and a rapist. He's a ruthless, bloodthirsty savage, and he's got a thing for you, silently stalking you. Enough to keep the average gamer sleepless for nights. Deep in the asylum, a new creeper rises. The groom is convinced that he is about to marry the woman of his dreams, and he will stop at nothing to find her and have his fantasy come to life. However, there are no women in the asylum. The groom must therefore make one. His goal is to hunt you down, tie you up, purify you, and adjust your body to fit his needs. He will go to any length to get this done. To avoid mutilation, you have to be on top of your game. If you wanted to make an indestructible enemy, what would he be like? Probably quite a lot like this guy. He's a bio-organic ultimate hunter. He's a weapon himself. His arm is a rocket launcher. He can regenerate. He's fast. He has a demonic growl which will instill fear in your bones. He's designed to frighten you to the edge of death and then push you over that edge with unspeakable viciousness. He's unusually successful. Alma was a little girl with psychic powers. She was extensively experimented on until the frail creature couldn't take it anymore. She fell into a coma and was left for dead. But of course, she wasn't that easy to get rid of. She's back and she's not feeling very well. She's taking out all her frustration on you. Distorting reality, hunting you and haunting you. Alma is probably the most disturbing kid you've ever encountered. You're in a strange room. There is cracking, rattling, flickering. Voices are murmuring in the dark. The radio plays a news broadcast about a man who murdered his wife and then went missing. Doors are opening and closing on their own accord. You're walking through the darkness and then BAM! Lisa, the murdered wife, appears right in front of you providing the, without a doubt in sight, most epic jump scare in history. We dare you to play the game and sleep with your lights off afterward. 